Friday edition of Freightways. Now let's close out the week with Zach Strickland bringing you your broker update. First off, let's jump over to Nick Austin with the weather. Welcome to Freightways Weather Friday edition. Hope you've had a great week. We've had some messy weather here and there causing delays through the week. And we have more of that today. On any given day, there's going to be problems probably somewhere across the lower 48 states. Today, one of the big problems will be up in the northern Rockies, especially for local and regional deliveries. But even on some interstates like I-15 and I-90, we'll see uh, snowfall in the high elevations of eastern and southern Montana over towards west Yellowstone, western Wyoming, and also in the southwestern Montana, the Crazy Mountains, the Beartooth Mountains, and some of those spots, especially at pass level in the higher elevations, there could be anywhere from five to 10 inches of snow in some parts of this region inside this red circle here and some really strong crosswinds along I-15 and other north-south routes in Idaho. We're talking about crosswinds possibly up to 40 to 50 miles per hour uh, with blowing snow. So there's going to be reduced visibilities. It's going to be trouble deadheading through this area as well on I-15. That's in eastern Idaho. The winds won't be as bad over in Wyoming and Montana. Uh, and in the lower elevations, we're talking about light snow or rain snow mixes, possibly on portions of I-90 and I-94. So there's going to be some issues there. Uh, but again, not a major storm. The Weather Service doesn't have any winter storm warnings or winter weather advisories for these areas, but still going to be a little bit of trouble for drivers. Shippers should expect just some minor delays possibly in any of their shipments that are moving through these areas. Next, we're going to go up to the northeast as well as parts of northern Michigan, northern parts of lower Michigan, where we're talking about freezing cold temperatures. This is for any overnight drivers that have to park uh, through interior portions of New England, upstate New York, northern Michigan late tonight into early tomorrow. These areas here that are kind of shaded in this blue-green color, those are all freeze warnings. And those are all areas where temperatures late tonight will be dropping into the 20s. It's going to be the first kind of widespread freeze for a lot of these areas for the season. So that could cause trouble for drivers out there and who have to park overnight if you don't have any winter additive in your diesel. So you might want to get ahead of the game and do that today. Last, we're going to talk about the Midwest. From Kansas City over to Moberly, Missouri, which is on the far right-hand side of the screen, just north of Columbia, Missouri, no service for Norfolk Southern Railway. A bridge in the, uh, over the Grand, uh, the Grand River uh, in Missouri, east of Kansas City, fell into the river yesterday. That's right, a log jam, other debris from flooding, and uh, recent heavy rains caused that problem. And so the bridge is out. There's no service on Norfolk Southern for that stretch. That's from Kansas City all the way here over to Moberly. So that's a pretty good stretch there. And uh, so that's going to cause uh, delays of shipments from at least 48 to 72 hours. Some shippers out there might experience uh, delays that are even longer than 72 hours. So just keep that in mind. That happened back on October 2nd, just a couple of days ago. And this out is going to continue for quite some time. Norfolk Southern is working on rerouting shipments and trying to find uh, detours and reroutes for that area to get around that problem. That's what you need to know about your weather for today. So have a great Friday out there. Don't forget for weather and all of our other Freightways videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day, a safe weekend, and be careful out there. Friday Carrier Update sponsored by Powerfleet. My name is Kyle Cunningham. Let's take a look at some spooky volume levels leading into the month of October, but maybe it's not as scary as we think. Let's jump into the chart and take a look what's going on. Blue Mountain here, outbound tender volume index for the entirety of the USA. Big turn down from yesterday, down 1.2%. Now with something as big as a 10,000 base index, 1.2% down is a pretty good move. You can see on the chart right there, from the beginning of October, big turn down. Now if you're a Sonar user and you see this happening, you can feel like, oh my gosh, the whole world is falling apart. But look at what happened last year. This orange red line here, perfect for October. Last year, the same exact thing happened. Why is this happening? It is the first week of a new quarter. It's the end of another quarter. It's just the way the freight markets roll. So let's move to the next chart and see what's happening in terms of last year and what we could possibly expect for this year. If we go back and we look at what was happening on 10-8-18, you can see from the beginning of October, just as we saw before, it takes a trail down, it hits that bottom low point, and then it starts climbing its way back up slowly, up leading into Thanksgiving. So don't sell your trucks, don't shut down your business, just hang tight, make sure you get what you 
deserve. And speaking of, let's go ahead and take a look at some markets across the country for some good news. In terms of good news, North Platte, Nebraska, wow, big moves up. This beautiful blue mountain right here rolling up to 16.49% on your outbound tender rejects in the middle of the country, North Platte, Nebraska. So if you're out in the middle of the plains, this is one to look at. Very interesting story here. You got inbound tender volume elevated above outbound tender volume. Now, it's not a lot of volume rolling out of this market, but the fact that there's a capacity crunch around here, if you're anywhere near Omaha, Kansas City, anywhere near Nebraska, go ahead and take a look at what's on the board for these guys. Let's take a look at the last chart for the week. We were talking about good old St. Lou. St. Louis, Missouri, inbound tender volume above the outbound. So basically near even balance. Wait time, 125 minutes, about two hours you'll be sitting there. In terms of refrigerated frozen outbound freight, Blue Mountain here, see this beautiful channel? We're flowing right about in the middle of the top of outbound rejections, about one out of every five tenders being rejected, all the way up from around 7.5. So if you got a frozen trailer heading into the weekend, make sure you look for St. Louis. We'll see you next week. And as always, make sure you stay Stay tuned to your carrier update. Hey everyone and welcome to your brokerage update. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're seeing in the Pacific Northwest, but if you were watching the carrier update earlier, you know that the volumes are declining across the country. Uh, behind me here I have the outbound tender volume index on the tree map. Everything in the top right, high volumes, everything in the bottom left, low volumes. And it, these reds and greens indicate either an increase or decrease. We see a lot of red on this map. Don't pay too much attention to the individual markets today. I just wanted to show you the reds on the map are outnumbering the greens this week. Last week it was a far different story. Now I have the outbound tender rejection index behind us. You see that there's a ton of green on this map. That means that there's a still a limited capacity in the market. So you still should be seeing a little bit of propping up of your rates. But one of the markets in particular, the regions that we're still seeing a lot of disruption is in the Pacific Northwest. You see right here, Seattle, Portland, both showing increasing tender rejection rates. Now, it is the time of year for the harvests and all that, but we have not seen Seattle and Portland really jump into the game just yet. This is the outbound tender rejection index for Seattle and Portland. You can see clearly over the last couple of days at the end of September and beginning of October, rejection rates are spiking through the end of the month. This is pretty bizarre because this is a backhaul market. Backhaul markets mean that there's a lot more inbound than outbound oversupplying the market. This next chart is gonna show you just where some of this instability is arising from. So you see the headhaul index. Again, a negative value on the headhaul index indicates a backhaul situation, negative nine, but that's a lot better than that negative 25 we saw earlier in the month in late August. So, Something to watch for in the next coming up week is just how the Pacific Northwest may start to stabilize or not, but this is not typical for this part of the country. So make sure that your margins are covered up there uh, as well as your carriers. So make sure that your carriers are ready to uh, jump into the Seattle market, Portland market, uh, covering all the lows that you can. Also make sure that you make as much money as possible in that market. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow us on all our social media outlets, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're wondering about the chain, check out our new show, Off the Supply Chain, our latest episode to see who wins this chain each week. Have a great weekend. Do you know an innovative and disruptive tech company that is changing the freight industry? Or are you that company? Nominations are being accepted now through October 5th for the 2020 Freight Tech 100 Awards. Last year, FreightWaves received more than 500 nominations. The top 25 companies are recognized within the top 100. Winners are chosen by an amazing peer class of industry executives, investors, and academics. Being a member of the FreightWaves Freight Tech 100 and Freight Tech 25 is an amazing marketing and public relations opportunity. Last year's inaugural winners include companies like Tesla, Convoy, JB Hunt, Project 44, and Amazon. 2020 winners will be announced at FreightWaves Live Chicago, November 12th and 13th.